Good evening everyone. Today in this tutorial I will show you how, how to create this mobile scrolling animation in Figma. Let's get started. Here, here we have our frame with the cards inside. So there is few ways to create that. We can do this manually or we can use the plugin. I will use the plugin but if you need it I will show you how you create it, um, everything from scratch. So we have our card, cards right here. Let me duplicate this content and show you. So we have all of our cards right here on, on this frame. Let me show you so what I've done. So let's ungroup them. So we have our cards. Let's add 16 padding between them. All we're gonna do next is select all the cards and uh, right click it gonna we're gonna frame selection after we frame selection let's put it content right all we're gonna do is we have to reduce this frame if we do reduce it nothing will happen because we have to clip content so let's check this box here clip content right that's nice so now all we have to do is just get this this frame so it matches this height, right? That's cool. I will delete this frame for now because I already have it here. Okay, delete it. So now all we're gonna do next is select this frame. Uh, this and uh, we're gonna go to plugins and it's gonna be scroll bars, right? And the scroll bars has been added here. Um, I want this scroll bar to be on the entire content page, not just for this um, to this frame. The way this plugin works, it just adds to the to the frame where you see is more elements uh, to, for scrolling. So what I wanted to do is. Let's move this bar down a bit like so okay so what we have is width of the frame is 11 and 730 we have two pixels uh, left and right and the scroll itself is width is gonna be 7 and uh, by 2 275 this one is fine because it compensates from the um, how much uh, content do you have here. So if you have more content, then this bar will be will be shorter. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Now all we have to do is just duplicate this frame, right? Now we have to select all the cards. Let's go ahead, hit Shift, and then click, and it will select all the content. Now I have to move all these cards up so this will allow us to use the animation let's go all the way here we go yeah this is cool now it's gonna do we're gonna do the same for the scroll bar here we go nice okay so prototype speed one that's gonna be two just for uh, always uh, try to give names to your frames otherwise as you get along and add more frames so it'll be very hard to to organize them and to track the frames okay so always give correct naming and do the same on your layers yeah okay now let's go to prototype tab I'm gonna hit on the uh, iPhone mini is going to be 375 by 812 which is fine now show prototype settings right now what we wanted to do is go on the, on the bar and just select this scrolling bar go add it on drag navigate to prototype 2 frame easy in and out 300 that's cool Okay, now all we have to do is just go back and do the same process for the same step for the second scrolling bar. 
on drag navigate to prototype one no, that's cool now what we have to do is no it should be fine now let's see how this uh, prototype works give it a second to load yep it works as expected so usually usually in um, in uh, when this is developed this scroll bar only will appear when you when you scroll content and as you stop scrolling the the, the scrolling bar will disappear but i think figma has to do more uh, more uh, development when it comes to scrolling animation because now what we can what we can do is use um, mouse enter function to to recreate that but that's gonna be it's gonna take so much time just to just to make this scroll bar appear and disappear so it's not really worth spending so much time but because when you hand over to developers they and you're gonna create this prototype for them it's very important so they can see that is scrolling animation here and they will add already the the necessary functionality okay so yeah this is how you create create mobile scrolling animation in figma if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and uh, thank you so much for watching this tutorial like and subscribe and have a great day